We recently hosted a cooking challenge in the womb school, and I cannot wait to show you guys what the sisters have been cooking up in the kitchen. We had a winning team, and that was Ebony and Ashley, and so they're going to show you a step-by-step -step of how to make these delicious recipes vegan. Now, I have my own journey adding more fruits and vegetables and having a vegan-ish diet. And as you can see, my before and after is really major. And anybody can use these simple um, recipes to start changing their life and they can get similar results. So let's get started. And I cannot wait for you guys to see our ladies. Who doesn't like cheesecake? Everybody loves cheesecake. And this cheesecake got a lot of attention on my social media. So let's find out how to make this cheesecake. And it's going to be a lot easier than you think. To create your vegan cheesecake, start by making the filling. Combine your soaked cashews, the zest and juice of one lemon, your melted coconut oil, your coconut milk, and some sugar. Combine all into a blender and blend until completely creamy. Next, create your casing, which will be dates and almonds. Pulse until combined. Next, layer your container with either parchment paper or plastic wrap. This will ensure that the cake comes out of your container easily. Next, pour your date and almond mixture into your container. Spread until even. Also make sure to break up any large chunks. Press down firm to make sure that there are no gaps in between the almonds and the dates. Next, pour the filling into the bowl. Freeze your cheesecake overnight until firm. After freezing, make sure that the cake is completely frozen and removed from the container. Now you have the option of leaving the cake as one large cake, or in my case, I decided to make little bite-sized cakes. Next, top with your favorite vegan whipped cream, fruits, nuts, whatever you desire, you can add right on top. Wasn't that incredible? I know everybody wants to try that cheesecake recipe and it's so easy to make. Next, she's going to show us vegan ice cream. Yes, vegan ice cream. You can have guilt-free food. For this vegan ice cream, we're going to start with one cup of soaked cashews and half a can of coconut milk. We're just going to combine them together. Next, we're going to add a dash of Himalayan salt, a splash of vanilla extract, and you can add as much as you would like. It's up to you. Next, 
Next, we are going to add a little bit of nutmeg. I'm just going to grate mine right into the bowl. Now the amount is also up to you. I don't like a lot of nutmeg, so I only added uh, just a pinch. Next, we're gonna add a dash of cinnamon. A little bit or a whole lot. Okay, so now we're going to take it over to the blender and blend it up, it should look like this. Now we're going to add our combination into a freezer safe bowl. And just go ahead and pour that mix into the bowl and then we're going to take it over to the freezer make sure it's sealed up tight so after freezing for about four to six hours, um, I took it out of the freezer uh, just to make sure that it was completely frozen solid. I just took a spoon and made sure that it was frozen. Now, after I tried to scoop it out, I realized it was a little too frozen. Um, so this is just me struggling with the ice cream scooper and it's not working so I just ran some hot water over it now in hindsight I probably should have ran a little bit more hot water over it as you can see I'm still struggling a little bit um, but I was still able to get it out just getting a little hot water on the side of the bowl so this ice cream actually came out very delicious um, it was super creamy it really reminded me of French vanilla ice cream. It was super delish, and I just had mine, um, I just put a scoop on top of a sugar cone. So try it and enjoy. Now take a look at Ashley and Ebony's charcuterie board. I think they did a phenomenal job, and they're going to show you step by step and how you can create your own. There are two main dishes used on our charcuterie board. The first dish is a haddock salad. So we started off with two six ounces of haddock fillets, lightly seasoned them with pink salt and black pepper, sauteed it in our favorite healthy oil, and chilled. Next, we broke them into quarter inch chunks, added two tablespoons of mayo, two tablespoons of dill pickle juice, a fourth cup of sweet onion mince, a clove of garlic mince, two dashes of dill weed, the juice of one lemon. Then we added salt and pepper to taste, lightly combined everything together, chilled for 30 minutes, then serve. Our next main dish is the garlic and pepper shrimp. First peel and devein the large shrimp. Lightly season with pink salt, red pepper and garlic. Saute in brown sauce. Once cooked, plate and serve. This beautiful board was garnished with multiple different garden flowers and also thyme.
Next up, we have Sister Shavana Jenkins from Philly and Sister Erica McGowan. They gave us some really great vegan options for charcuterie boards. And of course, they did the vegan cheesecake as well. So for all of you vegans, we did not leave you out. You have a lot of options here. And to me, if someone presented this to me at a party, I would be so happy. Some of y'all be leaving y'all vegan friends hanging with these snacks. Um, but this is the way you want to give your good vegan friends um, a plate. I don't see anything on this bread that I would not like. She's got jams. She's got fresh herbs. She's got nuts. All the texture, all the crunch you want. I love me some olives too. So again, all the meats you see, these are vegan. She's got your pomegranate seeds too. So don't forget about textures. You know, you can't, you don't have to be boring with vegan food. So as you can see, she's got everything covered here. Yum, 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 yum. I love that we use the coconut um, option for the whipped cream. You have cocoa whip that you can use and don't forget your crunchy nuts, but you can make this as simple as you want with strawberries on top. I am ready to eat. How about y'all? Okay. Ebony, Sister Shavana, y'all knocked it out of the park. All of our womb sisters knocked this out of the park. If you're thinking about just having better options for getting your friends together, this gives you a reason to get in the kitchen, sisters. You can get your kids involved and getting people to eat healthier, it can be fun. These are simple recipes that I encourage you to try this weekend. I think this can cost you less than $10 um, and, and get creative and put a lot of things on the plate and start getting your creative juices flowing again we're going to be doing so many more uh, recipes for you guys sister ashley all of our sisters in the womb school we want you guys to continue to do this because this is the way we can get our sisters to come together to do something positive okay ashley i like the way that she used the mint leaves and the blueberries that was one of my favorites too and she has a breakfast themed charcuterie board it's a lot of different styles of charcuterie boards out here but you can keep it simple and do a breakfast theme so she's got all her bases covered she's got oranges those are waffles that we see she's even got some mango and the vegan sausage and vegan bacon so um, the vegan culture is really growing and I've always said the best thing that happened to vegan food was black people <laughs> and I really believe that so make your food options a lot more colorful because our health is in the toilet as black people and so we can focus on that in the womb school ladies join us get to cooking and get to healing your body today.